Good day guys! I am teacher Jufil, a math teacher in an island school somewhere in Giwan Eastern Samar and I'm inviting you to my channel Math Life, where math meets fun. And if you want to hear more about mathematics, about tricks and how to answer problems or to solve problems in mathematics, I'm inviting you to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell for more videos. So this afternoon po, we will be dealing on solving problems that had appeared in the 2020 Metro Bank and Top Dep and Math Challenge Eliminations for Grade 10. We will start with the 8th question only because the first 7 questions were not a part of the Grade 10 competency so we will reserve that for the next session na lang, or maybe in dealing with problems for the lower grade levels. Okay, so for our first problem this afternoon says that for every positive integer n, the nth term of a sequence is a sub n equals n plus 4 over 3n plus 2. Find the term after 7 over 16. So what we are going to do first is to solve for the value of n that will make n plus 4 over 3n plus 2 equals to 7 over 16. And that is, you are going to create an equation, n plus 4 over 3n plus 2 equals 7 over 16. So this equation will help us in solving for the value of n. After that, you can solve this equation as a proportion. By cross multiplication, you will have 21n. Sorry, I have to write clearly. 21n plus 14 is equal to 16n plus 64. Then, treating this as a linear equation in one variable, adding both sides with negative 5n, negative 16n, and negative 14, you will have 5n is equal to 50. Dividing both sides by 5, n will be equal to 10. Therefore, the value of n that will make n plus 4 over 3n plus 2 equal 7 over 16 is 10. Thus, 7 is over 16 is the 10th term of this sequence. So we can say that a sub 10 is 7 over 16. Therefore, if the 10th term is 7 over 16, next to 7 over 16 is the 11th term. And we are looking for that term. So therefore, the term after 7 over 16 is the 11th term. And that can be found by substituting n in the defined sequence with 11. That makes it 11 plus 4 over 3 times 11 plus 2. Then, simplifying it further, you have 11 plus 4 is 15 over 3 times 11 is 33 plus 2 is 35. It's a fraction but not yet in lowest terms. So our 11th term, which is the term after 7 over 16, is 5 over 7 in lowest terms. So the solution to the problem is 5 over 7. For our second question, our second problem, this is quite easy. This is easier. It states that the first two terms of an arithmetic sequence are 2 and 5. In that order, find the 21st term. So, the first two terms of an arithmetic sequence are 2 and 5. In that order, we will find the 21st term. So, the 21st term for this arithmetic sequence. And the formula in finding for the nth term of an arithmetic sequence is a sub n is equal to the first term plus the quantity of n minus 1 times the common difference. Now we already know what is the first term and the value of n is 21 because we are looking for the 21st term. Now we need to find first the common difference and obviously if two succeeding terms or two consecutive terms of an arithmetic sequence are given, 
the common difference is found by subtracting a term minus its preceding term. So the common difference obviously is 5 minus 2, which is 3. Then, we can plug in those values in the formula so we could find for the 21st term. So the 21st term will be the first term, which is 2, plus the number of terms or the nth term, which is 21, the order of the term. 21 minus 1 is 20 times the common difference, difference which is 3. So the 21st term is 2 plus 20 times 3 is 60. So the 21st term is 62. So 62 is the solution to the problem. And for our third problem, it states that the first three terms of a harmonic sequence are 12, 6, and 4 in that order. Find the eighth Find term. The eighth term. So we have a harmonic sequence. A harmonic sequence whose first three terms are 12, 6, and 4. In that order, we are told to find the eighth term. To find the eighth term. Now, based on definition, a harmonic sequence is a sequence whose terms or whose reciprocals of its terms forms an arithmetic sequence. So therefore, if we want to find a specified term, of a harmonic sequence, what we are going to do first is to rewrite the corresponding arithmetic sequence for the given harmonic sequence. As in this case, if the harmonic sequence are 12, 6, 4, and so on and so forth, the corresponding arithmetic sequence for this harmonic sequence will be 1 over 12, 1 over 6, 1 over 4, and so on and so forth. And so therefore, our eighth term for this arithmetic sequence, the reciprocal of this, the eighth term of this arithmetic, arithmetic sequence will be the eighth term of the harmonic sequence. So we will treat first the harmonic sequence as an arithmetic sequence. Now for this arithmetic sequence, we know that the first term is 1 over 12. Our n is 8. And the common difference is 1 over 6 minus 1 over 12, or 1 fourth minus 1 sixth, that is 1 over 12. The difference between a term and its preceding term. So we can find, find the common difference by subtracting 1 sixth minus 1 twelfth, which is 1 twelfth, of course. So we are going to find the eighth term first for this arithmetic sequence. And after finding the eighth term, we can find ultimately find the eighth term of the corresponding harmonic sequence. So use again the formula for an arithmetic sequence, the nth term, a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus the quantity of n minus 1 times d. So you will have the eighth term is equal to the first term, which is 1 over 12, plus the number of terms, which is 8 minus 1 is 7, times the common difference, which is 1 over 12. Simplify. Your eighth term will be Copy 1 over 12 plus 7 times 1 over 12 is 7 over 12. So the eighth term will be 1 over 12 plus 7 over 12 are similar fractions. That is 8 over 12. Or simplify further. The eighth term of this arithmetic sequence is common divisor for 8 and 12 is 4. That will be 2 thirds. So, for this arithmetic sequence, if the eighth term of this arithmetic sequence is two-thirds, therefore, the eighth term of the corresponding harmonic sequence will be three halves. The reciprocal only of two-thirds, which is three halves. So, the solu solution to the problem is three halves. At sa pang-apat po na problem, it states that Find the common difference of an arithmetic sequence with first term 3 and 17th term 67. Find the common difference. So we will find the common difference of an arithmetic sequence with first term 3 and 17th term 67. Okay. 
Now, if we want to solve for the common difference of an arithmetic sequence given the first term and the last term, you can also make use of the formula that we have used in finding for the nth term of an arithmetic sequence that is a sub n equals a sub 1 plus the quantity of n minus 1 times the common difference. You can plug in values for the last term, the first term, and the order of the last term. Then you will, it will leave you with only one unknown and you can solve that by solving linear equations in one variable. Like in this case, for example, if our last term specified is 67, then the value of n is 17. So we have here n equals 17. So you will have a sub n will be 67. 67 equals the first term 3 plus the value of n, which is 17 minus 1. That is 16 times the common difference. Okay, solving for the common difference, maybe you can subtract both sides by or with 3. You will have 67 minus 3 is 64 equals subtract also the right side by 3. It will leave you with only 16 D. Then divide both sides by 16. You will have 64 divided by 16 is 4 equals D or the common difference is 4. So therefore, the solution to the problem is 4. However, we also have an alternative solution for finding the common difference of an arithmetic sequence given any two terms. May it be the first term or may it not be the first term, any term in the sequence for as long as you have two terms given an arithmetic sequence, you can, fi you can find the common difference. In this case, for example, you want to find the common difference given the first term 3 and the 17th term 67. You can make use of the formula common difference is equal to a sub n minus a sub k over n minus k. So your common difference will be, let's say your a sub n is 67, so you will have 67 minus your a sub k is 3 over the order of your 67th, uh, your of the term whose value is 67 is 17, since it's the 17th term. And a sub k, which is 3, the value of k is 1, since it's the first term. So your common difference will be 67 minus 3 is 64, over 17 minus 1 is 16, leaving you a quotient of 4. So the common, dif uh, common difference is 4. So this is most applicable if the given two terms are any term in the sequence for as long as it's not the first term. Like, say, for example, the fourth term and the tenth term, the third term and the twelfth term, you can make use of this formula. Whereas this one is most applicable also when the first term and any term in the sequence is given. And for our last problem, if 4x, x plus 2, and x minus 5 form an arithmetic sequence, find x. Find x states that if 4x, x plus 2, and x minus 5 form an arithmetic sequence, so arithmetic sequence daw siya, find the value of x. So if you have sequences that are in expression form or containing variables, the best way to find the value of the variable that will satisfy the given situation or the given sequence is to create an equation, a working equation where you can solve for the value of the variable. Like in this case, for all we know, if this is an arithmetic sequence, let's say this is your first term, this is your second term, and this is your third term, in an arithmetic sequence, the difference between any two succeeding terms of the arithmetic sequence is always a constant, making it the difference between the second and the first and the third and the second being constant or equal. So from there, we can say that the second term minus the first term is having the same difference as the third term minus the second term. And from there, by substituting the values of or the expressions that represent the first, the second, and the third in this equation, 
you could be able to create a working equation wherein you can solve for x. Like for example, you have your second term is x plus 2 minus your first term is 4x is equal to your third term which is x minus 5 minus your second term which is x plus 2. Then, remove grouping symbols and combine similar terms. You will have x minus 4x is negative 3x plus 2 is equal to x minus 5 minus x minus 2. Okay? So you will have negative 3x plus 2 is equal to negative 7. Then solving for x, you will have negative 3x subtracting both sides by negative 2 or with negative 2, you will have negative 3x equals negative 9. Dividing both sides by negative 3, x is equal to positive 3. So therefore, the value of x that will make these expressions, these three succeeding expressions on arithmetic sequence is 3. Also, we have an alternative way to solve for the value of x. If you are given three succeeding terms in the form of expressions as an arithmetic sequence and you are told to find for the value of the variable, yung gagawin lang natin is to consider this as an arithmetic sequence means the same as the, set of the middle term being the arithmetic mean of the first and the third. So if these are succeeding, three succeeding terms of an arithmetic sequence, and x plus 2 being the middle of 4x and x minus 5, we can say therefore that x plus 2 is the arithmetic mean of 4x and x minus 5. Now if we talk about arithmetic mean, it simply means the average. Meaning, x plus 2 is the average of 4x and x minus 5. Thus you can say, x plus 2 is equal to, to find the average means to add them and divide it by 2, since there are 2 only of them. So you will have x plus 2 is equal to 4x plus the quantity of x minus 5 divided by 2. So x plus 2 is the average of 4x and x minus 5. Then, simplify and so for x, you will have x plus 2 is equal to 4x plus x minus 5 is 5x minus 5 over 2. Multiply both sides by 2, so you will have 2x plus 4 is equal to 5x minus 5. Then, so for x, you will have negative 3x is equal to negative 9. Divide both sides by negative 3, x is equal to positive 3. So, you can solve for the value of the variable that will make three succeeding expressions forming an arithmetic sequence by using this method or the other method which makes use of the concept about the arithmetic mean. So, ayan po guys. We will end up only with five problems for this afternoon. More problems will be coming in the next few days probably. Um, just... Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you will constantly be updated with more upcoming videos about how to solve problems, especially those that appeared in the Metrobank and Top Tap and Math Challenge. So, God bless guys and I hope you have enjoyed watching this video tutorial. God bless you.